Hello all, welcome to Embedded Linux Learning Point, a learning platform for Embedded Linux and IoT. So in this channel, so far we have learned how to use Linux. So from now, we will move towards learning Embedded Linux. So for that, we can start with an IoT platform called Sense and Act. This is a project which will touch upon Embedded Linux and IoT in general. So what the project is about? The project is to build an IoT platform to sense environment parameters and act accordingly. So what does it mean environment parameters? So it could be temperature, it could be humidity, chemical, it could be any electromagnetic radiation, so it could be motion or speed. So these are the typical parameters that we can measure. So for that we use sensors and those sensors we have to interface with the IoT system. And with this platform, we should, we should also be able to control few things like classic DC motor or a general, general DC motor, any hydraulics or it could be any industrial server, a stepper motor or it could be any switch for example, it could be solenoid valve. So those are come under actuators. So the idea is to sense the environment parameters and control any of these actuators. So this platform is going to help us doing this. So the idea of this project is to build this platform for our future projects. So what are the core components of this project? So the first component is embedded sensor and controller board. So which we can also call as master board. So if you see the sensor controller board typically interfaces both the sensors and actuators and it is shall be capable of connecting to internet. So it is a network capable device which can be connected to the network so that's basically the idea of Internet of Things, right? So we should be able to control things from your mobile phone, for example. So that's that's where the network comes into picture. The second part is sensors interface board. So where this component deals with how do we interface different sensors to the main board. So one way to interface sensors is to have some circuit that can directly connect to the analog pins of the master board. So the other way is via the, the networking called the wireless sensor network that we will explore in this project. Also the third component is the actuators interface board. Similar to sensors, we can also connect the actuators to the, the IO pin of the master board. And also we use the sensor network to have the actuators connected via a data board and that again connects to the master board via network. The fourth component would be the networking. So where this deals with the, the wireless sensor network as I said and also the networking needed for the transferring the data to the cloud. So this is just the initial concept and it is subjected to change as and when I progress in the project. But the main idea remains the same. So what we will learn from this project? So the first thing that we will learn is how to use Linux system in general because we're going to use embedded Linux. Also we're going to learn embedded Linux development and embedded Linux internals. Since we're going to use embedded Linux in, for the main board as an operating system, so then we will learn more about Linux. The next thing we will learn is the design and development of embedded and IoT systems. So this is a general concepts that we will come across while designing or while realizing this project. The next thing that we will learn would be different techniques to interface sensors and different techniques to interface actuators. So this is more towards the learning embedded systems design for both the sensors and actuators. So this requires more of a little bit of knowledge on electronics, so which we will see in this project. 
the last but not the least we will learn more about networking for embedded and iot systems so where as i said we will have we will deal with the networking to connect to the internet and also the uh, embedded sensor network so these are the concepts that we would learn so while realizing this project so well once you have the platform ready so where can we use this platform it can be used for any of your future projects in some of the areas could be a smart home or smart city self driving cars iot retail shops or smart farming smart grids of course these are some of the applications of iot so any of the projects that you want to realize can be a potential use for the platform that we want to develop so the idea of this platform is more towards learning the technology and what goes in 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 deciding to use some concepts or the other or some design step or the other that's the overall idea why we want to develop a platform for learning embedded linux and iot so i welcome you to join me in building this platform and learn more about embedded linux and iot in general if you like the video please do hit the like button also share with anyone who is interested in this topic also leave comments or any feedback in the comment section i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching